Hey everyone, welcome back to another Call Fishing video. In this video, I'll be talking about the Sports React 245, a car toppable boat options. So I came across this boat from a couple of YouTube videos that shows folks taking it out in the ocean. And the key thing was they were able to car top it and not have to tow it around in a trailer. That got me interested because I was looking for a power option that was car toppable. So a cross between a kayak and a boat. I found this boat on sale at West Marine website for $500 from a $700 MSRP and for that price I couldn't resist and decided to give it a shot. I ordered the boat online and it came in about two weeks uh, shipped to store for free. Alright guys we are here today's the day I'm gonna pick up the boat all right let's go grab it. Went to the store for the first time. Uh, it was a pretty nice store. A lot of fishing gears and boat related gears here. So while I was waiting for the boat, I was just checking out the stores. They had me meet them in the back and help me load the boat on top of my car for me. All right, just picked up the boat and got her strapped up. All right, hindsight, probably should have took the wrapping off, but uh, it's on there pretty good. So I think it'll help protect from the rain too. So that's good. Definitely won't come flying off. The straps are on. I have it through the holes too, here and here. So it's on pretty good. Yep, not going anywhere. All right, I got the boat home. Safe and sound. All right, that's the accessory that was uh, tied down inside the boat. Got the wheels, door, the seat. And a bag of uh, goodies, ropes. And like the ore locks. All right, let's put the wheel on and uh, see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Eight feet long, a little bit over eight feet, I think. There's a capacity sign. Three person, 387 pounds. Wood motors, 430, and up to a two horsepower. Okay, this is the most annoying part of the wheel installations. The one you stick the pin in, and then bend it. I don't know how you're supposed to get it exactly flush against this thing, but it's close enough, but this thing is not easy to bend. Let's install the ore block because it gives us, let's see, about 43 pounds for our motor, which is pretty good. Alright, so I guess the trick is we gotta get one of them in first, and then we'll try to get the other. I'm gonna use this to screw it in, put the bolts down and the side. Alright, now get the other side in before we tighten this side a little bit too much. Make sure I'm in the right direction. Tighten it like this, put this side in. Okay, that thing's not going anywhere. Yeah. Alright, so how these seats are supposed to be installed. Slide this through. Put that down. And move the side through too. And that's it. Okay, put the other side too. This is a little bit annoying, but that's okay, I guess. And this thing just drops in until you find the screw. Boom, that's it. Alright, 
Ready? Yep. Slide it, slide it. Hi. Let it lean yours downward. Yep. Okay. okay, now slide back. Yep. Yep. Down, 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 down. Okay. Alright, let's get the motor on and uh, we'll get out there. Let's see how the motor being transported. Get great. Okay. No spillish. Perfect. I might have to uh, back it up a little bit. There we go. Alright, man. Alright, man. Uh, that's, uh, that's it. That's it. Let me how, go. How do people get out there? They just have to suffer. Okay. Engine started. Give it a. Uh... I think this is a great idea. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm glad I got the Suzuki. Let's go. All right, we're out here testing the classic boat. Doing some fishing next to shore in Lake Washington. The Suzuki is holding up really well. Great gas efficiency. Very reliable. This boat though is a little bit low in the water, so I don't know. <laughs> Great day to be out in the water. Okay, the initial impression of this boat is that space is pretty limited, as you can see. I probably bought too much space saver stuff, so I think you definitely need to prioritize and bring only uh, the essential items on this boat. I wouldn't say this is too good of a leisure boat if you're looking to bring like a cooler full of refreshments and other people out at the same time. Especially if you're planning on bringing uh, additional gears to like fish or crabs. It's definitely a uh, pick one activity to do at a time. My other thought is that the boat with two person on and gears is a bit low in the water. We are below the rated capacity of 380 pounds but are probably about 90% there with the two of us in gears uh, not counting the motor. So I would say taking that one extra person out on this boat max would be comfortable. Three is pretty it's gonna be dicey as well as very limited in space. I would probably only take this out on calm day. Yeah, any bad waves can make for a bad day in this boat. One tip I have is to bring something that helps you uh, sit higher and also sit closer towards the center rather than at the stern. This really helps with the uh, stability and low distributions to make the boat feel a lot more stable and safe. Okay, a uh, brief overview of this boat. So the total investment I put into this boat was around $1,200 including the outboards and registration. The boat was about $550 after tax, outboard another $600, and another $50 in registration approximately. So I'm not including any accessories here since I'm able to reuse the same gears for my kayak and boat like the uh, DIY console and all the safety equipments. One of the biggest catch 22 with this boat is that it takes two person comfortably to load this boat but it can only also support a comfortably a max of two people. So it takes two to bring out two. May not be the best choice for something you want to do uh, solo or take out a couple more friends or bring out a lot of gears. Overall it's hard to beat the value of getting out in the water on a motor vessel for this price. If you account for its limitations like the space and capacity and take it out in good conditions, it will be able to take you and your buddy out to do fishing or crabbing no problem. Being able to car top this boat is the biggest convenience and it makes the setup and cleanup time as short as taking out a boat with a trailer pretty much. 
with the convenience of not having to tow a trailer along. So if you already have a small 2.5 outboard lying around, I don't think you can go wrong with this boat for $500, especially if you take out on lakes or ponds where you don't need to register it. I'll follow up this video with other videos of it doing various activities out in the sound to see how it handles it. Thanks for watching everyone and let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I'll catch you guys next time.